Hey guys, happy Wednesday. We're getting ready to start your uh, daily reading and see what divine messages spirit may have for my beautiful aquas today. Um, thank you for all the beautiful messages. You guys send me a lot of love. It means a lot to me. I read all of your comments and you guys are the best. All right, let's get going here. Hmm. Okay, so somebody is going through it this morning, okay? I'm seeing uh, you're having a very hard time letting go of something that is coming to an end or something that ended. However, I'm seeing a lot of deceit here in the center. So, um, you know, try to think about this. I know when we're going through something like this and we're in pain, we have a tendency not to think logically, like I, I call it, you know, a brain trick. So, you know, it might be because we're insecure about being alone or we're just not used to being alone, like a fear of the unknown. What is the future going to bring? I'm by myself. You know, we tend to panic in these situations, but when, when it's a situation that involves uh, somebody doing this, Okay, this is deceit. Okay, so you've been deceived. Try not to do the brain trickery and look at this for what it really is, even though it hurts. All right, this is causing a lot of stuckness. All right, you need to stand up for who you are, stand up for what you believe in, and go for this new start. Okay, um, that is the advice of spirit as well as myself. Okay, um, because when we're with low vibrational people and they're not operating out of any type of um, goodness, you know, I mean, even the worst people have a good side. I tell my daughter this all the time, like we all have good and bad in us. Okay. But as we grow, as we learn, as we teach, as we go through and evolve uh, through life, uh, we have choices to make. We can become better and learn from our mistakes, or we can continue to do dastardly things and not care and be very self-centered. Okay. Those, what the, the, the one I just mentioned, the low vibrating self-centered ones that choose to stay that way. Those are what I refer to as third dimensionals. Not every third dimensional is like that, is that bad. But, you know, when we're dealing with these people, they, they, they don't usually change, okay? And if it's just happened that this lover broke your heart, if this just happened and they deceived you, um, you, you need to protect your heart. You need to know that this person is operating in this lifetime with no integrity and will most likely do this again if you give them another chance. And do you value yourself that little that you're willing to allow people to step on you and crush your heart. You know, how small do you envision yourself? Okay, so Spirit is saying you have a decision to make here. Very quickly, they want you to make this decision regarding you, yourself, okay? Because there's a King of Cups who's getting ready to come into your life. The King of Cups, as a lover, all right, is somebody that is... Uh, just putting family first, very loving, giving, romantic. This is a high vibrating person here that's getting ready to come in for you. Okay, so um, again, you know, I know you're going through this, but watch out for that brain trick, guys. Okay, it'll get you every time. All right, let's continue. All right, here I'm seeing some kind of uh, a partnership. Um. This looks like a business partnership to me. This is the boss figure here. And you might be pulled into this partnership, not pulled in, but asked to become a partner, whoever I'm speaking to. You're going to get clarity on this soon, okay? It looks like you are uh, a feminine, perhaps. And uh, this is definitely work-related, all right? You're going to be asked to be some kind of partner uh, by this emperor, um, who's needing help with um, 
I want to say the employees, some kind of teamwork here, some some goings on at work where he, I keep hearing, pull, they, he wants to pull you in. He wants to give you something so that you don't leave because you're that valued, okay? And he feels that you can uh, do things for the company that nobody else can in, in this very moment. All right, so here I'm seeing some kind of defensiveness regarding uh, uh, some kind of inheritance here, okay? Um, yeah, this is about an inheritance for someone. Um, this is, you're the star, okay? But things around you, uh, something's going on, okay? You're having a tower moment. It looks like somebody's trying to deceive you. Somebody's trying to take something away from you with this inheritance. Um, you might have to take this person to court. You might have to, it looks like you're in for a fight and you're having this tower moment. Okay. Fighting over this money. All right. I'm seeing healing for a feminine here. This, you are the queen of wands, my beautiful queen. You are somebody who people are very attracted to. All right. I see that there's something about what you're working on here uh, that is going to pay off for you in a big way. I see a justice coming for you. All right. This is your hard work and your commitment and you're on the brink of achieving something awesome. You're on the brink of your justice. So all this hard work that you've been putting in is getting ready to blossom and show itself. Okay. Right now you might be feeling stuck. Um, but they're saying that good things are coming for you. Okay. I'm seeing the sun in the center and I'm seeing abundance. I'm seeing this nine of pentacles. Girl, this is success. This is your freedom here okay security i'm seeing you as the queen of swords you don't put up with anybody's crap that's one of the reasons that you're so successful all right and you have these very strong boundaries around you and you're trying to manifest something right now um, there's a lot of happiness coming in things are working out well for you however there's something that you're something else that you're trying to pull in um, regarding this conflict that you're going through Okay, I'm seeing, uh, so here they're saying, guys, all right, for those of you, this is, I believe this is for all of you, all right, these burdens that you're carrying, all right, and all these things that are leaving you with this feeling that you're just alone in the world, all right, we have a tendency, guys, to feel when things go wrong, especially, that we're all alone in our situation. There's no one around. You look around, right? Who's there? No one's there. So you're alone. But technically, we don't think about the bigger picture, which is, you know, if you're suffering financially, you're having a hard time paying your bills, you're super stressed out, or you're going through a breakup, whatever this is that's going on in your life, all right, there's many others going through the same thing, if not worse than you, okay? So, you know, keep in mind, guys, that we we are we are one. We are one consciousness. We go through different things at different times, but pretty much we're all connected. We all go through the same things, just different. If you know what I'm saying, like one day, uh, Mary's car car breaks down, um, and the next day, uh, John's. Uh, I don't know, his, his hot water heater breaks down in his house. So, you know, we, we are all going through things is my point. Um, some of us go through a lot worse things than others. That's where gratefulness comes into play here, guys. And once we get in the habit of feeling grateful about things, that's how you start looking at it. Like, oh shit, I got a flat tire. Okay. Well, what do I have to do to fix it? And, you know, and then you know, it's not really a big deal in the scheme of things. There's people who can't eat right now. And you tend to get into this type of frame of mind when you're feeling grateful. You're always in that frame of mind, even when something bad happens. So you don't get sucked into that disgusting um, wheel that, you know, you're thinking negative thoughts, you're feeling negative. So you're drawing in more negativity. You're noticing 
you know, I got stuck at that light. This light is, you know, 10 minutes long. What the hell? And then as you're feeling more and more negative, it just continues, right? It continues through your day. And then you start seeing things going wrong. Nothing's going right. The anxiety, you know, you know how that works? It, it just, that's how the universe works. It's your thoughts and your feelings that create your future. So what I'm trying to tell you is don't notice Try to work out those negative things and look at them differently. Look at them like in the scheme of things, it's going to be over. I'm going to fix it and I'm going to go home. I'm going to make myself a beautiful meal. You know what I'm trying to say here? But I'm seeing, they're saying that you're going to get some communication any day, any hour, any minute about this wealth and prosperity. Get ready for it, guys. Okay. This is about being valued as well. But it's money. It's sharing money, giving money, receiving money. And this Ace of Wands right here is this money is just going to continue to uh, grow. Okay. Especially if you get a, a wealth team together and you let them help you with this money that's going to be coming in. I'm speaking about Nassar Jasara. They're saying a great victory is coming to my Aquas who are feeling ignored. Okay, they're saying they're seeing you moving towards something or you're moving away from this feeling of, of being ignored now. All right, you, you, a lot of you are starting to feel differently. You're starting to look at things differently and you're starting to get excited about the future. All right, this queen of pentacles, this is um, a high social status and prosperity, wealth and luxury. This is where you're moving toward, guys. This is what we're all moving toward. Not just my feminines, my masculines. Everybody is moving toward this, okay? And the page is just, you know, this is the solid new beginnings with what is coming. This is going to give us a new beginning, a new start. It's also good news all within this card. Um, so good things are coming, guys. I'm talking about this every day because it's showing up every day. Guys, this is showing up in every single personal reading that I'm doing, not just the public ones now. So I feel like we are close. Um, I don't want to keep, you know, putting out something that may sound like hopium, but I I am extremely excited. Nothing will ever change my belief in this or my uh, excitement about it. You know, there's days that it, it just keeps me going. If I'm having a bad day, I, I think about what's to come. It's going to resolve a lot of our problems, guys. It won't resolve everything, but it's going to resolve a lot. All right. I'm seeing this King of Wands. It looks like um, you're ignoring something. Okay, you're not seeing something, you're spending time alone, and this may be ignoring yourself. Okay, uh, over here, I'm seeing your cup running over with joy and happiness. Okay, um, you're thinking that you're happiest spending time by yourself, and you just might be. You sound like me. Okay, you might be in the midst of your awakening, and you might be. Uh, really loving that time alone right now because we get really sensitive when we're starting to plug into others energies and it can get really messy for us uh, we're holding on to all these other people's emotions and things like that okay also guys with this solar um solar uh um event coming up okay this is putting us through the ringer as far as ascension symptoms, okay? There is a deep connection to all of the empaths and this solar event coming up, all right? It is said that it's going to help connect us to the fifth dimension. So it's something very exciting, all right? People are saying all kinds of crazy things about this solar event. I don't know what is going on, to be honest. I haven't done a reading about it, but... I believe there were seven states, don't quote me, that already have this emergency, um, a state of emergency for the day of this solar event, okay? So they're expecting something, all right? So everybody be careful, just, you know, uh, keep an eye on out on your surroundings type of thing, you know. Um, here I'm seeing you're waiting for the shoe to drop. You're waiting for the shoe to drop. 
I'm talking to this masculine, okay? You're spending time alone. And, and the reason you're feeling like that is because you're ignoring yourself. It's time to put yourself, it's time to know who the hell you are. Put yourself on a pedestal. Nurture yourself. Love yourself. You don't need to wait for someone else to come and do it. You do this yourself. It has to come from within first. That will boost you up. It will raise your vibration. It's going to bring in happiness. It's going to make you feel uh, emotionally more um, solid, if you will. You know what I mean? Your emotions are going to level out. You're going to feel good, all right? And guys, most of all, stay in that state of gratefulness. Guys, the Ace of Pentacles is here. This is your financial new beginning. This is your security and prosperity. This is what you've always wanted. Guys, this is what you've always wanted, all right? So something you've always wanted, something big, huge, is about to come into play, bringing in all this happiness and celebration, okay? This is the card of want coming to fruition fruition and this ace is your uh ace of pentacles is your financial new beginning and security and prosperity guys all right so um also i have the page of wands here this is about intellect okay um so i just feel like the intellect is connected to the energy today all right um how is that what is that um there's there's a lot of um I want to say uh, military action going on today. That's that's what I'm feeling. That's what I got. Um, and it, it may or may not make any sense, but that's what I got. Okay, so the intelligence, the military intelligence. All right, maybe something big is going on behind the scenes today. All right, guys, this is the reading. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a beautiful day. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I am offering a $15 reading for those of you interested. You can click on the description below the video and there will be instructions there for you. Take care.